What's up everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the all new 2024 Toyota Tacoma. This is a TRD Sport, finished off in supersonic red. This is a four x four and the MSRP is about $48,000. Let's go ahead, pop the hood and see what is powering the newest fourth generation Toyota Tacoma. So if we find the hood latch, so there are gonna be two engines available. Both of them are gonna be the same 2.4 liter inline four cylinder, and then the hybrids are gonna be available very shortly. So this is the standard 2.4 liter inline four cylinder turbo with 278 horsepower with 317 pound feet of torque. This truck has an eight speed automatic transmission, 18.2 gallon fuel tank, curb weight is 4,600 pounds. On top of that, this truck can tow about 6,300 pounds and payload is 1,600 and ground clearance is 11 inches. Taking a look at the styling, I really like the dark housings for the LED headlights. We do have that halogen turn signal, which is famous for Toyota. Let's not put everything LED. We have a lot of body color throughout the grille. I like the black on this front portion. And then you can see the Toyota logo. Intercooler is back there for the turbo. And you have a lot of openings to provide maximum cooling to the intercooler and radiators. We have a safety sensor, LED fog lights, a lot of this plastic trim down below, and then a huge removable front air dam, which of course, if you're gonna off-road, go ahead and pop that thing off. You do have really nice contours. I think they did a great job. I mean, the styling, it looks like a Tacoma and it looks like a modern Tacoma. So I think they really did nail it on the head with the design. You have a nice fake hood scoop that does look cool. A lot of contours throughout this hood. So it's a pretty bold and aggressive truck. And I really like the body colored fender flares. You can also see we have a cutout here for better aerodynamics and then a nice set of TRD wheels. These are finished in the two-tone color. They're also 18 inches in diameter. You can see all the contours throughout the front. A thick set of running boards with your blacked out Tacoma badge. Nice contours throughout the door and then body colored door handles and mirror caps. You have a little bit of black surrounding the windows and then for the shorter bed with the full size four doors, has a really good proportion. I like all these sharp body lines to it. They really nailed this thing with the design. It looks great. You can also see sharp body lines throughout the rear fender with your TRD Sport badge. And then a nice set of LED taillights with a cool contour. All body colored for the sides of the rear bumper. Plastic for the center. Trailer hitch is all integrated into the frame of the truck. There are just lift points here as well. You got a black Toyota tailpipe tip and then all your badging throughout the tailgate with Tacoma stamped into it. Got a backup camera as well. Soft open with a spray and bed liner. It's a nice touch to see. There are LED dome lights. You can see Tacoma. Then you have three of these rails in these three sides. So really nice bed overall. Good use of space, lightweight taillight. And then if we head on over to the back seat space, this one has the black fabric interior. You'll see this white trim. You can get a few different colors depending on how you spec your truck. So the rear door panel, this is all plastic. Wouldn't mind some padding for the armrest. And then you just have some storage down below. These seats have some nice white contrast stitching. They hold three people. There's no armrest or anything. You just have cup holders, some plugs, and a little bit of storage. No air vents either. But if we lift this up, we have a lot of hidden space back here. So nice to see these massive buckets all lined in plastic, which is a really good use of space. And then you can pull these straps as well. These will fold down flat with the seats out of the way, but you'll have a carpet back and then nice plastic hidden cubbies all back here. So good use of hidden space. Just wouldn't mind a little more creature comforts for backseat passengers. Now at five foot 11, sitting here behind the driver's seat at my height, I still do have good enough room for my feet and legs. Headroom is plenty with a couple inches. No sliding glass on this particular spec. And if I close the door, it's not too bad. You do sit kind of low in the back, so you kind of feel like you're really down in the seat. My knees feel like they're a little high up. And then the backrests are pretty straight up. This is more roomy, I think, than the previous generation. However, this is still kind of on the fence of not the best and not the worst back seat in this class. So it's all right. It does what you need it to do, but wouldn't mind it to be just a little bit better, especially if you have kids in the back or something like that. Onto the front seats now. These are manual controls. We do have lumbar support, the bar up there to slide it forwards and back. There is some padding for the armrest for the driver. And then you got a nice white trim with TRD. There's hidden storage space, same with down below. 
good grab handle as well, and then just kind of basic plastic trim. You can also see the cool contours and stitching. These large bolsters, they look nice and they hold you. It does make it a little bit harder to get in and out of the truck, but once you're in it, this is a really comfortable place to be. You can also see the nice chunky steering wheel, thick bolsters to it with the perforated leather, all your controls and everything. And then if I hop inside, we have that TRD start button. So nice look inside. I do love the interior quite a lot. More of that white with Tacoma. Gauge cluster is all fully digital. You can basically see a few different designs on it. It's not ultra configurable. However, it still is a pretty cool screen. Kind of everything you're gonna need to see on this truck. We have Bluetooth and audio controls, cruise control settings, all of your typical stocks, of course. There's a little bit of hidden storage space right here. And then just a few buttons over here with a ton of blanks. Just a basic black dashboard with some nice contours on the top. And then I like the hidden storage over here and then Toyota's infotainment. Of course, once you set it up, you'll have a full screen navigation system, all of your audio, your phone integration, a few things about the truck will pop up as well. And then we have settings. So it's a simple screen, but I like how everything is big and bulky to where as a driver, you know, I'm not the biggest kind of touch screen. It is super easy to just tap what you need and do it. So simple and easy. It also looks really good and it is a big screen. Physical climate controls down below, which I know a lot of people love. Very easy, once again, big buttons, easy to see, very easy to adjust your different modes and more things like that. So simple and nice, so can't complain with that. Wireless phone charging pad is here on a lot of the trims. You got a cool contour texture for two phones. You have plugs, hidden storage space once again, grab handle, more storage. Four wheel drive selector along with your drive modes. Got a few drive modes you can toggle through, which is a nice touch to see. And then you have your tow and haul mode. A little bit of padding on the rubber armrest, nice storage, and then more storage over here. So overall, I do like this interior. I think it's very well done. A lot of plastic, yes, but you know it does feel durable. I feel like you could beat this truck up and it should handle you pretty good. Black headliner, we do have a sunglass holder up on top, and then a thin mirror. So setting off now in the Toyota Tacoma, First off, I like the seating position. You can really adjust the seat quite a lot with all the different configurations. You can, of course, make it go taller or lower. I know in the past, a lot of people didn't like either how high or how low it sat, but I like this new Tacoma, honestly. You can fit really comfortable in it. The view around is cool too. Obviously, you have this huge dashboard that has like all these cool contours. The hood is also pretty darn aggressive with the hood scoop and just the contours in general. So I kind of like seeing around this truck. It feels just cool. It feels like a rugged off-roader. Visibility is all pretty good. Camera's pretty huge. Gets a little distorted on the sides, which is a little weird, but then when you do that, then it looks nice and normal. So drive modes, we're just gonna go into normal mode. I think one thing I'm liking about the Tacoma is there seems to be character with this turbo engine. Not everybody likes the four cylinders, I get it, but when you give it some gas, you can hear like, while the revving noise doesn't sound all that good, you can hear some turbo sounds to it just a little bit. And it's light on its toes. There's a lot of power in this truck. And I'm not even flooring it, obviously, being pretty much brand new. But it's kind of nice to drive around. Even if we go into sport mode now, it feels like a lively truck. The old one was a dog. This thing, I mean, it just is peppy. It's got lots of power can't imagine running this in completely and actually really getting on it. I like the steering feel too. It's got some pretty good feedback. It's light enough. I don't know, it's a nice truck. It also drives really smooth with the TRD Sport suspension. It feels solid over bumps. However, it still feels like a truck. I mean, I can feel this bump right here. It feels like it, but it's also comfortable compared to the older ones. So I feel like it drives really good. When you hit the brakes, there's a lot less brake dive than before. So I think the new Tacoma is a lot more composed. It just feels more confident to drive on road. Off-roading, of course, you're still gonna get all the same amazing characteristics and capabilities. But I really like the increase in ride quality and just driving this. There's good power, it feels nice on the road. Ergonomics are pretty good too. And it's kind of a, it feels like a bigger truck, like you're definitely high up feeling, but it's still smaller to where it's easy to place this. So I think overall it's a pretty good platform. I mean, getting around a truck like that, 
that wasn't even 4,000 and this thing just zips. So I really like the drivetrain. And keep in mind the hybrid will even be more powerful. So I don't really have any complaints with the driving of this truck. I think that's where the biggest changes are. The interior is still just as easy to use. I like just how simple it is. There's literally like five buttons and that's it in this interior. It's so incredibly easy and yet it all works really well. Of course, you gotta set this up to have the nav, but this system works easy. And I think Toyota owners like simplicity and this truck is simple yet cool looking. Only downfalls, there's a lot of plastic. Literally everything is plastic. So wouldn't mind maybe some more softer touch materials <laughs> than hard plastic. But nonetheless, you're getting a Toyota at the end of the day. So you know it's gonna be a dependable truck. And when you're driving it, this is a very comfortable at home feeling truck that I think you can just rack up some miles and enjoy being behind the wheel. Baby, 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 baby.